So are you self-taught, pretty much? Mm, yeah, yes and no. I I had an unusual background. A bit. <clears throat> My mother was a jazz piano player who died when I was two months old. And uh, and, uh, and she, she was pretty good. I heard some tapes or mm-hmm. records that she'd done afterwards. And so they sent, I had shown some kind of musical ability, I guess, as a little baby. My grandparents raised me, uh, sent me when I was a baby. So I started going to music school when I was two. And it was like a little children's music school. I played the keyboards and stuff in it. And played mm-hmm. it. I had a little toy drum set. And I got me a violin, and I played that when I was about three. And then I played, you know, not well. I just played yeah. them all the time. Yeah. I had a trombone, and I played that. And then I, I started taking piano lessons when I was about nine. and learned how to read from doing that. Yeah. And when I was 12, I remember going to summer band. And they had a little thing called summer school band in between the sixth and the seventh grade, whatever it is. To prepare you so you don't have to start in the beginning band. Right. It's like a beginning band, and the band director said, "What do you want to play?" And I was trying to think in my mind, you know, what, what do I want to play in this? Because I like, you know, I think I'll play drums. And he said, "Oh no!" So now you knew your mother. She was a great piano player, you know. <laughs> and for you to be a drummer, you know, why don't you play a good instrument like clarinet or something, you know? <laughs> and, and that really made me matter. No, I want to play drums, you know. And that's what I want to do. And it came so easy. I mean, I literally. Within six months, I had a drum set and I was working. I was playing dances. It was so fast. How old were you now? Twelve. You were playing dances at twelve? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No yeah. I started when I was thirteen. I started working with a guy. I don't know if you ever knew him. His name's Jesse Ed Davis. Sure. The Taj Mahal's band yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was before that. I started playing in his band when I was twelve and a half or thirteen, and he was about twenty. He was in college, so I started working with all the older guys real fast because maybe there wasn't that many good drummers and I was young and I could, you know, keep a beat and I liked a lot of different music and playing drums was just easy. But I took some, uh, took a few private lessons. There was one guy who gave me a couple named Tom Gager, I think, who's with Boston Symphony now. He mm-hmm. helped me a little bit. Uh, and then another uh, teacher named Eddie Lockhart and then Johnny Johnson. All of us over about a year. Mm-hmm. And then I quit taking because I got to the point I, I could read from playing piano. Right. And uh, the books are starting to seem easy. And it was getting to where it was real easy for me to do things creatively on the drums. Think of just funny things. And the teachers were not that way. And they were like listening to that. They were saying, oh, how do you do that? And I started feeling like I wasn't getting as much out of it. So I had enough groundwork. Yeah. You know, the only thing I wish I would have done was uh, learned how to play with a totally matched grip right from the start. Is that right? Yeah, so I can play with my left hand over here. Yeah. And I started like that, and now I've switched. You yeah. Know? But if I, I didn't have any, just a little stick guide. You play that now sometimes, your left hand on a hi-hat? I do some, but it's yeah. still more right. But I play match grip because there's so much more power, you know? Yeah. Going down like that, and as you know, for popping a backbeat from mm-hmm. the center, you just can't do it like Right. It just doesn't go as well. Yeah. Um, but this, that about did it. My last, my training was uh, when I was 14 or so. That's when I started six nights a week in the nightclubs, and I never quit. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I did it all the way through high school, nonstop. I went to high school and was out playing in the clubs at night or playing the local proms or mm-hmm. playing on the TV shows and the stuff they had in the local area. I just, you know, and it didn't stop. I still haven't quit. You know, I mean, it's been nonstop playing for, you know, you know almost 18 years, I guess, 19 years. Straight through, right through. Yeah. Wow. No, never had to do day gigs or anything. I never worked in my life, <laughs> <laughs> except I, when I was when I was at about ten or something. I, I threw papers, yeah, for a year or two, and I saved that money, and that's what I bought my first drum set with. Yeah. And after that, I never worked. 